Hello there, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Halen. I'm an intuitive medium. Today, we're going to look at the energy surrounding your sign, recent past, current energy, and immediate future. If the title of this video has lured you in, I do trust that it is for you at that time. I feel that my readings are timeless. And if you would like to follow up with me at the end of this video, you can either reach out to me for a personal private reading. Those are all listed on my Etsy. I have my reading options and prices listed there. You can also email me. And there's also going to be a link to an extended at the end of this video. I'm trying that out this week. Please pardon any noises. I've got the windows open for some uh, good juju in my new room here. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's been a little bit cumbersome, but I'm going to let it fly for now. So, uh, with all of that said, Aries, we're going to dive in. We're going to first pull an overall energy card from the Tao Oracle, and then we're going to go into more specifics with my Shaman's Dream Oracle and my Birth and Early Imprint Healing Oracle. So you have contemplation, gaining overview. This has a very uh, hermit-like energy here. So that's interesting. Oh, and look, so I, I have... It's just flying all over the place. There's the shock card sticking out. I, uh, I cleaned up my decks and this card is like sticking out off to the side. It's not even in the pile. So I feel like it's actually, I didn't notice it till just now. I feel like that's for you. But we'll get more about, we'll get more about what's going on here with the Shaman's Dream Oracle for Aries. Please show us clearly. One more shuffle here for Aries. This show is clearly it's a recent past. Lost compass at the bottom, getting back to integrity. Beloved. Okay, you're, you're, I don't know why I want to say you may be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, so. Because Capricorn's reading. Let's go ahead and get clarity right now. Capricorn's reading was like um, wanting to come back into union with something, but it was like too little too late for right now for the energy. It was interesting. And um, what I'm seeing here with you, shame and shock now on the table. Well, and that's kind of what I was just saying right about the Capricorn thing. I didn't want to like shame Capricorn and whatever that message was, you know, I would never want to shame anyone, but it just was this really interesting message about I'm gonna put shock no I'm gonna keep it it was this really interesting message and it's making me it's just it's it's flooding into your reading for whatever reason um, because it feels like there is some sort of I don't want to say reconciliation okay but like uh, forgiveness right which is here I'll show you in a second unconditional love radical acceptance where you're then going into could be with the same person or same the same energy or it could be a new energy but you're going into a more resonant energy in the future so let's see here what we've got felt sense of protection at the bottom okay so your recent past we've got repairing the veil forgiveness with gathering potency. So this is like really weaving together something that may have been torn, disrupted, broken apart. Okay. This is in the recent past. Maybe there was a rift in the family. Maybe something happened, you know, I don't know, but, um, it's feels like in the recent past, it started to gain momentum. So whether this was you healing within yourself, if you were torn within yourself, maybe recovering from something that was difficult relationship, a job. Cause I I'm remembering your readings now, you know, it's funny, it's always like a continuing storyline. And you had this whole thing about like, you were finally set free. You were finally set free and you, it's kind of like you owed no one anything and you were going into a new environment where you were uh, more supported, right? Kind of like what I'm seeing here where you're able to breathe. This is still showing up in your future, but I feel like it's different now. But there's some kind of rift here being mended, gathering potency. Maybe you were also, this is interesting, trying to help bring make amends between two forces or right wrongs between two parties 
gathering potency. And it's making me think here, it's, it's looking a lot like this compass here, getting back to integrity, right? Forgiveness, gathering potency. I almost feel like you're trying to steer, help steer the direction of something, right? In the right direction, where there's forgiveness, this beloved radical acceptance, this heart on fire. Look at this underneath, reconciliations, the wailing tree, okay? It's almost like you're trying to, again, it could be like mending, uh, like bringing two, two energies together that are meant to be in resonance. And I don't know if it's you with someone or if it's energies outside of you, like if you're like a peacemaker in some way. Um, yeah, this is, this is quite the, uh, let's keep going. Your current energy, there, there's more to unpack here, but remember we're doing an extended where we're going to get a lot more clarity and the, the extended so far have been like really, really cool. And they're like continuations of the story, but we get way more coming out of them. Um, you have in the current energy, magician's sword, confidence in your magic and coherence. Again, look at how these two things are like growing together, even though they're like pulling apart here, they might not realize it. It's like, are you this one in the middle, this little Christmas tree looking fern here that's like this, see, merging two energies together, bringing things together, your magic, you're manifesting something, some kind of reconciliation, some kind of integrity, right? Acceptance, reconciliation, forgiveness. It's like, it's like, can't we all just get along? Is that's how it feels. That's how it feels. But the shock here and this contemplation, right? Gaining overview, detached observation. I almost feel like you're outside of it in some way. Increased understanding, integration, right? Which is what this is all showing. Two things coming together, integration and reflection, contemplation. Maybe you, it's like Capricorn. It's like Capricorn went off on their own. Here I go again on my own. Sorry, I have to, I want to say it like that. You know, I have to make fun of everything. It's horrible. I'm a really sweet person, I promise. I make fun of things with love. Um, it's just mimicry. But yeah, this feels kind of like Capricorn, but totally different. So Capricorns was, I'm gonna go do this on my own, like burning bridges, that kind of thing. And then them realizing, oh my God, I actually walked away from something that, um, there was a lot of love there. And then trying to approach it and it was too little too late is how Capricorns felt. Um, not to shame them or anything. And now you're coming out as like, maybe you're on the other side of it. That's why I said maybe you're dealing with one. You don't have to be, but it's like you're on the other side of maybe a situation like that where you were the one experiencing the shock of the separation to some extent. And in the past, you really wanted to mend it, that kind of thing, to have this unconditional love, this reconciliation, to get back to integ integrity, to get things going in the right direction. And there's this shock here though, where it's sort of like it like lodged you outside of it. So I feel like you weren't able to have this. Your current energy is again, your magic and coherence. So you are sort of this, uh, what am I hearing? Defining line, what does that mean? Between these two opposing forces and maybe You have felt sense of protection. Look, differentiation at the bottom and containment. Okay, to me it feels like this is like Capricorn's reading, but flipped. It is like the reading that was, it was the energy that Capricorn was dealing with. This is how it feels to me. It was like something, it's almost like maybe you were you were cast aside, you were judged, you were blamed, or you were uh, left, you know, like alone. Maybe it was a shock to your system. You wanted to repair something, some, another energy wasn't working with you, and so here you are, finding your own voice, your own power. Because remember, in the past you were set free. So maybe there was an energy that because Capricorn's thing too, I mean, I don't mean to say that you're dealing with the Capricorn. It's the storyline that came out that I'm now constantly thinking of. But there was a reading I did maybe a month ago, maybe more, that was like, 
It was Capricorn, but they were building, they had a castle, they were a castle, okay? And they were building a moat around their castle, thinking that they were protecting themselves from the outside world, but actually what they were doing is they were protecting the outside world from them. Meaning, um, if you were, I wanna say cast aside, set aside, because this card sticking out here and this contemplation here, if you were sort of like set off or left out or, I don't know, it's kind of got this sense of rejection, but more just like stonewalled, if that makes sense. Maybe not a full on rejection, maybe just set aside, right? You're wanting to make amends because the energy was ripe and ready then in the past. But be it, right with all of this energy here of wanting to get back to this acceptance, right? Like protection, even amidst this differentiation, like this can still be contained, like within this belly here, see this waist and then this belly, like there's still love in the situation. There's still protection, confidentiality, in the situation, but then it goes into this deep diver, diving into a deep task with this, it's a Capricorn card to me, it's the devil card, the horn, cactus, this resourcefulness, it's like diving in, and here we've got twin loss. With trust, oh, it's, it's thickening now, my friend, hold on a second. And two, Garden of Venus, rest and renewal and spirit source blueprint, and then follow through with first breath, beginner's mind. Whoa, Aries, I just got a weird whiff of a strange story. I had this for you recently where you were like a soul maybe transitioning. If you if this is a cross watcher, you know an Aries who's transitioned. Maybe you're in a sign of transition, right? I don't know. But it's almost like following through and beginning a new beginning again. Um, this shock, this being sort of cast out could be like an, um, like a, a passing okay or a transition um but this here is almost like getting back to the garden your blueprint right it's like when you this is so weird <laughs> i just have to say that's kind of what i i am also seeing if we're talking about a, a soul that was an aries this feels like going to your source to potentially be reborn um but of course let's take that and ground it out into life this is, um, because of this twin loss though, right? It's like you're having to literally dive deep into, because you could be like a soul detaching from one's own identity and going into what feels like darkness and trusting that. So take this as it resonates because it's also applicable, not to a soul that's going through the bardo, okay? <laughs> um, but it's like, a, let's say you were trying to repair something, right? This radical acceptance, the reconciliation in the past. And then even here, I see you getting like a, a more coherence about your magic in this. I almost feel like you're now gathering your power and potency because it takes two to tango and energy outside of you wasn't tangoing. So you've, di you've been diving into the loss of this, trusting in the darkness of this, right? Of the unknown. In some ways, you have laid this whole situation truly to rest, even though it was a shock at first with what happened with all of this energy, the getting back to integrity, the wanting for a reconciliation, but you're now in this, um, this right, this blueprint energy where it's like you're literally resting and renewing and starting over and following through to begin again in life. Like this is like a brand new start. Now it's making me think of, Virgo's reading, which was very much about this new life. So it's now let's look at what you've got going on here because your future, right? You've got this coherence now, a way of maybe understanding both sides of something, but recognizing your own power that it, it takes two to mend something, that you're recognizing your truth, your magic, your power, and not selling yourself out, not thinking that this was necessarily your fault, this aloneness this was also you know i'm hearing hurt people hurt people and as you come to this awareness we then have this whale song resonance and breath may all beings be blessed with fullness of breath it feels very much like this source blueprint thing to me like um this is like the source of your soul right like your soul's dna kind of thing like your soul code it's really interesting and then we have remember this this first breath card beginner's mind 
in your breath twice here. Something about your soul. This is like a, it feels really like whale to me, whale energy, which I have actually here from the last extended I did, um, is about the Akashic field. It's about your soul. Like it's very deep. It's very deep. And these are so, I want to say rudimentary with this source blueprint, this first breath, this following through, this very beginning anew, that it's almost like a complete spiritual renewal. Like, it's intense. It's intense, Aries. There's so much to pull out here, actually. And this is, I guess we're 15 minutes in, but I feel like it's so short. We've got a lot to pull out in the extended because I feel like I'm just getting started in this. But this is really what I have for you. I mean, the time was ripe in the past, okay? But now as two things are, you tried to pull them together, right? And the defining line, meaning in some ways, I think you've learned about your own boundaries of how it does take two and see how they don't actually touch and they're starting to turn away from each other here and you're seeing this. You're seeing this. You've, you've taken this coherence and contemplation, you've, you're seeing it for what it is and you're completely and utterly willing to begin anew. To the point, to, to the energy is so big to the point that I see a, I could see a soul in here um, being willing to literally like reincarnate again. <laughs> I know it sounds strange, but I am seeing that here. Because there was so much going on here, this felt sense of protection, this, this, differentiation, this containment, this confidentiality, it felt like you were working with an energy that you, this could have all been there with, but it didn't, it wasn't like reciprocated. So as you're set out, you've taken the time to then process the loss and trust in this plan. And now you're following through with something brand new. Okay. Could have been a shock, but now you've got this beginner's mind and this whale song here, which is like, you're literally embarking upon a whole new path. So that thing for you, it is like the opposite of Capricorn's reading where it was like too little too late. You're on to the next thing right now because you've had all this time while maybe another energy was coming around. You've had all this time to face the demon and come out in the Garden of Eden. You know what I mean? You dove straight into the shadow. You've already laid it to rest. You've already dealt with the death of this that you're literally having your brand new beginning okay um yeah your blueprint so there's a lot i want to discover where we're leaving off here this breath the source the very first thing we have right like our blueprint very first thing we have in this life is that breath and there's something here where you're going into something brand new to, I said rudimentary, like a very basic level, but when it's so simple and so basic, it's actually the most magnanimous. It's the biggest. Because it's brand spanking new, but this is so deep. This is, I mean, it's a whale, it's big, and, and you're stepping into a resonant energy. Something that is actually new here for you, but it took a lot to get here. So, with that being said, I hope that this has resonated. feels a little scattered. Um, I'm going to go into your extended. Also, don't be shy about that private reading if you feel called, and I will hopefully see you next week. Thank you, Aries.